Hello everybody, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and guess what? I caved in and ordered again from America's Thrift Supply. Uh, if you watched my last video from them, it was pretty horrible and I said I'll never do it again. But I had a weak moment and decided to give them one more shot. So we'll see if this is any better than the last one we received. I sure hope that it was. I don't know how it could get worse. But uh, so there we go. Five pound mystery box. It was $49.99 with shipping, which I think is a little crazy. $10 shipping, but whatever. Um, so here we go. So here's the, here's the loot. They do put it in a bag, so I like that, but that means nothing. So let's see what we've got. I am sure hoping that there are some goodies in here. And um, if there aren't, then, you know, you won't see them again on my channel. <laughs> so if everybody is having a great week so far, it is 107 here today. Um, it's been extremely, extremely hot, um, hard to work, um, with this, this heat is just killer. Um, and I know elsewhere in the country it's like that as well, so. Anyway, let's get right into it. I hope, again, if you are enjoying these videos, please, uh, subscribe, um, leave feedback, leave your comments. I appreciate hearing from you all. Um, I do answer every single comment and um, let's get right into it. All right, so first, uh, some sort of fabric rhinestone bracelet, missing some stones. That's definitely a craft piece. Uh, so my picker, so I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this. Okay, so this is a stretchy bracelet, very, very worn. Um, I don't think it's intended to look that way, but but there you go. I don't think I've ever told you guys I have pickers. A lot of a lot of people do. Um, so what they do is literally they go out and pick jewelry for me, and only for jewelry. Um, they shop garage sales, estate sales, they have their own, I don't know where they get it from, but you know, they shop for me, send me an invoice, and then when it gets to be a lot, I'll go and pick it up, go through it, and um, the bulk of my jewelry and auctions come from my pickers. One is local, two are outside of Texas, so um, I might show some stuff from her. Um, she called earlier today, and, and I have about 1500 pieces with her so I'm gonna do a pickup tomorrow so I might show that it's it's sort of a mystery box because I don't know everything that's in it I just kind of know what she's told me which is she'll say I have a bunch of sterling or a bunch of costume this is how many pieces and this is how much I want for it so I might show that we'll see so these are nice uh, glass beads uh, sort of black iridescent really really pretty really long these are nice, um, uh, nice for my lot boxes, not necessarily for auction, but so we'll, we'll hang on to that. Oh, let's see, let's see. All right, so this is pretty. So we have a shell, mm, some sort of scroll work. Um, on a shell with the black seed bead um, chain. So that's, that's okay. Not sterling and, um, you know, no hang tags. So we'll just hang on to that. Oh, this is cute. It's a little enamel um, butterfly pen. It's an older clasp. Oh, kind of cute. All right gold tone bracelet mm, not for me it'll go in my recycle box okay this looks like some tagged jewelry 
the Willow Tree Boutique. Oh, and they've got a little hang tag. Oops. Oh, let's see. Grand Avenue, maybe. Um, so, this is some sort of um, plastic beads. It's pretty. It's new. Um, it's okay. So let's see. Let's get this thing out of the way. This is yuck. So this says choker necklace, $1. Um, it's not sterling and it's pretty, but it'll go into my craft recycle boxes. Who wants to come out first? Well, so there's a earring. We'll see if we can find the mate. Have a bead craft. These are a lot of tangles. This was either an earring that lost its place or bracelet. I'm not sure. Mm. Mm. These tangles are really bad. And I'm just going to be patient and try to get them untangled. Let's see. All right. So gold tone wired earring. I'm trying to get to this. This is pretty. At least it appears that way. So let's see. Maybe if I unhook you. Okay. I'm not sure about the thing on the end. <laughs> okay. So we've got gold tone. Some kind of, I think, loose side or acrylic. Oh, that's a horse. A pretty gold chain. And let's see, no hang tag, not gold. So this is a decent piece for my lot boxes. Um, and my lot boxes are in my weekly auction for those that are interested. Um, right now, I don't think there's enough interest to purchase things from these videos, but when we get to that point, I'll definitely um, do so. Okay, there's an initial necklace, good condition. Oh, stretchy craft piece. Oh, lots of beads. Loose beads. Okay, so this looks like it's just stuck in there. Okay, so we've got a stretchy ring, Florida Lay. Um unremarkable. Pretty um rhinestone. Um, bracelet. I'm not seeing any makers. Oh, there we go. Avon, I think. Yep, yeah, Avon. So a nice little Avon um, piece. That's not bad. Oi, oi, oi. All right, so we have Never seen this mark before. RS. RS. I know there's an RS costume jeweler in New York, but um, this is kind of nice compared to what we found so far. It reminds me of little arrowheads. Um, so it's in good shape. So that'll go into a lot box. All right. Oh, these are those magnetic type bracelets. Oh, I'm going to have to do it. So this is um, magnetic style. Um, I put that in craft. Get some of these beads. There's a lot of rogue beads here. Okay. Now this is an old closure. 
but this is a handmade um, piece, which is fine. Um, but no precious metal or anything like that. So, there's that. The lot boxes are winning today. Let's find something fantastic. Oh, you're going tangles, tangles. All right, that's Claire's. Let's see if maybe that'll get it on. Hooked. So we just have a clear silver tone. Oh, it has a little pendant. My bad. Little Claire's pendant. Um, yeah. Set that aside. Okay. Oh boy. Tangles everywhere. All right, so this is two pieces, it looks like, yeah. So first piece, silver tone, I don't see a hang tag. Just some pretty aqua beads. Um, look how dirty already. Some aqua beads with silver tone. Let's get a thing for my hands, the story is dirty. I don't know how to get another one to get the trash. So these are just um, craft pieces, some more beaded whatnots. Speaking of whatnot, do any of you shop on whatnot? I'm thinking about getting back on there. I have a, a channel there or I have a store there and I have gone live before, but it's been a long time. So another sort of turquoise um, and gold tone necklace. I'm thinking about getting back into whatnot. I really enjoy doing it, but um, it's so much work to load everything. And then, um, you know, we didn't always, we've had a couple of really good sales and then we've had a couple of nobody, nothing being sold. So these are pretty silver tone earrings. I don't think they're silver. I'm lying. There's a mark that I could see. See, you guys might be able to see it. Let me see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Where's my loop? It says something. Really, really dirty. ND925. Okay. So... First pair of sterling earrings. They're nice enough. So these are st Stein sterling silver. I'll have to, of course, test them and see. So that's decent enough. Oh, yeah. Let's get this mess out of here. So anyway, let me go. Let me know what you guys think about whatnot. It is a really fun site. Um, everything tends to go super cheap, so I don't like that, of course, but. Um, I have things that I can put on there that are, you know, cheap and will do good for everyone. So plastic beads, these are not um, amber style, they're just plastic. Let's see. I want to find the culprit for this beadage everywhere and get it out of the way. Okay, here's another one of these. So gold tone with sort of a really intense iridescent turquoise. Uh, more of the same. Even though we haven't found anything like super exciting yet, this is much better than the last box I had. The last box was just absolute trash. So I'm gonna hold out hope that I picked a good one. So we'll see. Maybe, let's get you out of the way. All right, so these are wooden beads. Um, not a fan, they're pretty. Somebody took time to put these together, but this is just not for me, you know? So this is a craft item. So I do have a lady locally, a lady, I say a friend. She helps at the warehouse sometimes, helps us with auctions, hi Dana. She says I never shout her out, but that's because she doesn't watch all my videos. So, hmm. 
How about that? But anyhow, she gets most of my craft jewelry. So I don't sell it. I just save it for her. She enjoys it. Her mom enjoys it. So this is a gold tone, unidentified, likely uh, paparazzi necklace. So, okay, this is some sort of silver tone uh, tassel style necklace with, uh, sorry, with some kind of type of leather chain or leather cord. All right, pretty red beads. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, this one, no hang tag, but this is silver tone and dyed turquoise. This is halide or plastic, not plastic. Yeah, this is some kind of bead that's been dyed turquoise, so it's not genuine turquoise, but it's still pretty. Oh, these are nice. They feel nice, at least. Come on. Let's get through this so we can dig some more stuff out. This has a hang tag. Yes, clears, of course. So we have just some miscellaneous um, pieces right here for craft. Oh, one more miscellaneous piece. Look at all those beads. Mm. Here's the source of the tangles. All of this mess right here. This is, oh, there it is. We found the culprit. I'm going to set you aside so my housekeeper doesn't scream at me. It's not my fault. <laughs> All right. I might just pass and untangle this in a bit. It doesn't look like... Oh, there we go. So I kind of like these aqua beads. They feel nice, but I can't get them loose. So this all looks to me like craft. I will check it, in, of course, um, a little closer, um, but I'm going to move on and pull out something else. Let's get all this to the side and let's go for another handful. is a bracelet yeah it's like a three strand bracelet I'll go like so look at my hairy arms that's oh, navy not marked that I can see but well made and in good shape so this will go into a lot box gold blingy thick bangle it's good enough for a lot box. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, look. Beautiful Austrian. I would say Austrian crystal. Let's have a look. Sometimes these will be marked. Really old Swarovski. So, ooh, even all the little side beads are there. That's nice. So this is a nice piece. This will actually go to my auction. This is a beautiful vintage crystal, AB crystal necklace. So that's our first keeper. All right. So don't know what this is. Some sort of craft piece is what I'm going to call it. All right. So this is a very bendy, um, like choker style um necklace it's just silver tone uh very worn here on the edges so i'm gonna pass on it Ooh, what is this oh like a fan pull mm, that'll be a craft piece okay come on now All right, so 
So this piece, it's black and white necklace. There's no hang tag. It's in good shape, so I'll put that aside in my lot box. Lot box for the win today. So far, everything's been, you know, relatively nice and clean, except the broken, but that happens. Um, these are really pretty. So this is definitely an improvement over last box that I had. Um, if I don't get something at least decent, you know, this will be out of my rotation, but we'll, we'll stay positive. So these are pretty. If we can find the mate to each of them, they'll go in my lot boxes. Very pretty. Oops, oops, oops. All right. Alex and Ani, is it? Wind and Fire. So Wind and Fire um, bracelet. This is a handmade kids bead kit piece. A uh, little Santa craft piece. Some pretty earring. Let's see if we can find the match. This looks like Tory Birch or Tory Birch esque. Probably not actual Tory Birch, just in the style of. All right, a ring with a faux pearl. Let's see, what do you say? Let me have a look. PD, so that's a premier design. Um, it's in okay shape. It's a little, oh, it's a little worn. So that'll unfortunately go into craft have um silver tone earring okay some more miscellaneous pieces things that i mess with so this will all be crafter lot for me oh boy let's go Okay, this is broken, missing a stone. A really big, chunky ring. Um, doesn't look like it's signed, no. So, and I highly doubt, no, that's not amber, that's very plastic, so. Okay, that's decent enough, I'll put that in a, a lot box. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, he's got verdigree really bad here. But he's cute. I have a couple owls in my auction this week. So no signature. If I can get that verdigree off um, by gently cleaning, uh, I might throw this in my auction. Otherwise, it'll go into craft. All right. Broken earring. Maybe it just hooks back in. Let's see. Oh, is this Chloe and Isabel? C and I, yep. So this is a Chloe and Isabel, which they're they're a decent um, uh, designer. Some of their stuff can be expensive. So I'll see if I can find the mate. And then if I can fix that, I'll run that through my auction. Okay, another earring, no silver. Oops, this is definitely faux. Just a green plastic. Okay. All right. It's like a green plastic ring. Um, very crude. Made in China. So that'll go to craft. Okay. This is cute with the little seahorse. But this I'm not a fan of. I think it's gross. A stretchy bracelet. Looks like. A project piece that's got something here. Maybe it was just a price tag, but I'm going to pass on that. And this is decent. Unsigned. No hang tag. So I'll throw this in a lot box and um, maybe somebody can do something with it. All right, more handmade pieces. All right, this is another handmade piece, uh, not real silver. 
All right, a little dangly earring. All right. Yeah, this is broke. So there you go. Then I go into craft. All right. So the letter L, it's really knotted. This is just gonna go straight into craft. Some more beads here. All right, so this little football bracelet has some rando charms here. Not seeing maker anything. So um, it's in good enough shape, I think, for a lot box. So it's another handmade bracelet. Okay. It's like a snake chain. Let's see. Not silver. Let's see. Not real pearls, so that's kind of worn, so I might just chuck that or put it in my craft. This is it cute? Cute little necklace, no hang tag, nope. And obviously no signature on the back. This is nice for lot boxes. This looks like malachite, not malachite, I'm crazy. Um, hematite jewelry. So, nice enough. Single earring. We'll see if we can find the mate. Get some of that out of the way. All right. This video is getting a little long. Let's dump out the rest and pray for a miracle. <laughs> pray for a miracle. All right. $25. <laughs> Clover watch band. Yep. Oh, this is pretty bad. Broken and dented. That's a craft piece. Something rolled. A little bead. Okay. This is pretty. No maker. No. Mm. This is pretty, but a uh, faux pearl. So if I can clean this up a little bit, I'll throw it in a lot box. Another whatnot tchotchke. So there you go. Oh, no bag would be complete without wooden jewelry, right? Well, there we go, wooden jewelry. Another um, toy birch look-alike ring. Now these are plastic bead handmade pieces. Mm, come on, give us something good. This one has a hang tag. And I don't know, is that Napier? This is nice. I mean, Nice, um, they're all acrylic and plastic, acrylic, plastic, no glass um, necklace. So that's good for a lot box. Another faux ring. Faux metal. Let's say made in China. This gold tone and a plastic uh, stone. All right. Let's see, no marks, no tag. So this is decent enough. I don't know what that, if that's someone's trademark. I'm not familiar with it, so we'll see. Okay, another very um, crude coming apart bracelet. This is pretty. Big green uh, rhinestones. Really big, nice green rhinestones and clean, not worn. So I'll put that aside. Okay, a little bracelet. Those flamingos sure are. So I don't see any name or anything. So 
I'll put that for craft. Oh, that's cute. But I think there's only obviously going to be, yep, yeah, there's only one. So, not looking good, folks. Not looking good. So, here is a very, very heavy. This is a super heavy gold tone with um, navy, yeah, navy wrapped. Um, no hang tag, so no idea who made it. More of the faux Tory birch. Cuff bracelet missing its centerpiece. Mm. Wooden whatnot. Plastic. Gold tone. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a gold tone. Initial earring. Besties locket. So, all for craft. Let's see. So, we have a bracelet here. No maker that I see. Stainless steel. Um, that's not bad. It's not super pretty, but, um, I don't see any stones missing or any major wear. So I'll save that for my lock boxes, but come on, be a treasure at the end. All right. So, oh, that's an Avon tag, unfortunately. Oh, NWT. Yeah, that's basically Avon. So this is silver tone, um, silver and gold tone mixed. So, oi, oi. Fashion ring. That's faux. No signature. Okay. Have a little cross here missing a stone and signed. Oh no. We're almost at the end. We're almost out of hope for these guys. This is silver tone. This is handmade. We're gonna toss that aside. This is missing its centerpiece. Pendant. Um, really worn. This is more of a craft item. So earring looks like we're not going to get the mate to it and oops, we're not going to find the mate to it. So, um, I'll, I put single earrings in my craft pile and my Dana, she can, she does things with them and she is more than welcome to have them. So, right. Rose gold colored, rose gold color. Um, Earring, a huggy hoop. No marks. So let's, let's just see what we can see. Okay, so this is a very long, like multi layer piece. It's worn pretty badly um, in some places. So I'm going to get rid of that. Have a gold chain faux, of course. Um, I don't know, chain of some sort. Oh, smashed faux ring. Not looking good. We're at the end. All right. So we have a single gold tone earring with no mate. Because what we see here is what we get. That's the end. Pick these up. Yeah. It's a silver tone. Very worn, some plastic beads, put that away. This is, you know, something, you know, for, for a child. Wow. Well, one good thing that'll come out of this video is you won't see America's Thrift Supply on my channel any longer. Um, I wanted to give them another chance and regret it, that, very much regret it, so. What's that? Oh, that's cute. That's from, um, I can't think where it's from right now, but 
That's okay. I'm going to set it aside. This is another craft piece. Broken craft. Single ring. Craft. 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 Craft for the win. Let's see. Nope. Can't even pull a piece of sterling out of there. And look how dirty. Ugh. All right, folks. So the one good thing is we can say goodbye and good riddance, at least on this channel, to America's Thrift Supply. That was the last time that I'll buy from them. Um, I hope that somebody there sees this video because it's pretty sad. But I did get a pretty decent pile of um, items that I can put in a lot box. And those items are here. Um, let me see if I can set them back down. So that these are items that I think, you know, I could sell for two or three dollars each and do okay with. Um, but I don't know that it's enough to actually make back what I spent. And then of course, the one good piece that I know I can sell out of this is going to be this beauty. Um, but it won't near cover the cost of the box. So thank you guys for watching. Um, again, we won't have to open one of these boxes again together because this was the last straw for me. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a follow, a like, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Um, I hope to see you all soon. Um, I might go ahead and show tomorrow or the next day my picker um, find everything that she's been hoarding for me. So I will talk with you all soon. Take good care and I'll see you soon.